Hey, it's Francis. And I uh, remembered that I forgot to do something on my live stream uh, the other day when I did my um, my album cover. So I just wanted to do hopefully a quick video to show how I make my um, custom band camp layouts. So let's just take a look and see what happens if I if I go in here and do this. Basically, first of all, I have a um, uh, marker set up in a uh, project file. This top area is where the um, the header goes and the sides are basically the side panels and the middle is, this is basically where all the other stuff goes so that gets left blank. Um, I got this from an open source template and I will try to find it again and link to it in the description so you can have access to it too. Anyway, um, as a starting point, uh, I'm going to need to bring in um, my artwork and um, Let's see here. Oh, did I already have it open? Yeah. Okay, so here's my um, artwork project. So I need my logo the way it exists in the album cover. That's going to be a layer. Um, I need um, basically my background without the text. Yeah, something like that. So this I'm going to just uh, save it or export it. Um, album art, no text, um, and export that real quick. And I'm going to drag that in and make my other assets out of that. So, uh, album art, no text goes here. And the idea is basically that I want, um, the sides. Um, to have cool stuff in them and the middle doesn't really matter so I guess you know as a starting point I'm going to copy this a couple of times I think yeah something like that it's a new layer and then uh, duplicate this again And uh, essentially, um, hmm. I'm not sure which one to use. I will take the castle and the eye. And um, I need to sort of clean up the middle now if I don't have that. When you have these markers, um, your project will snap to them when you're selecting, which is really useful. Okay. This middle section here can just be a solid color. That should reduce the file size, hopefully. Um, I'll just fill that with black. Oh, huh. nope, that didn't work. Oh, because it's transparent. Okay, cool. Um, that's looking pretty good so far. Um, then I need my letters here at the top. And that's going to go up here and be a little bit smaller. Oops. Um, yeah. What's going on here? Why won't that work? I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I want to resize this. Yeah, okay. It's working. A bit smaller. It's a little off center. Usually I'll do this um, with a marker, but just eyeball it this time. Okay. And now, really, the only thing left to do is to um, clean up the edges. Hmm. 
Although I'm starting to feel like maybe I want this to be a little further over. Yeah, I changed my mind and I want to focus on this little rider. Yeah. That's pretty good. Cool. Uh. And now all that's left is to sort of blend these edges. So, um. Basically, I'll take each side and erase a bit. What's going on here? Oh, I see. Basically erasing from this edge just to blend it a little bit and I'll bring the opacity down yeah okay that's getting there um and that's really about it um so I'm going to flatten this Duplicate the layer and do some of the um, other processing that I've used on uh, my album cover. So in this case, I'm going to use um, a duplicated layer with RGB noise and blend that in. Using the opacity, flatten that, and I'm going to. Um, Reduce the contrast a little bit. I think that my final version ended up kind of like this. And I'm going to reduce the saturation a tiny bit. I guess I should do this, this black square in the middle should be redone, I guess. Hmm. Why isn't that getting black? New layer. Foreground color. Nope. <laughs> New layer. Transparency. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. A relatively coherent band camp layout. Um, now, the other tricky thing is that we need to... Um, let's just save this as... Uh, not design assets. Shoot. Well, you know what I need to do is essentially render this out as um, two different images. So... Um, export as, uh, man, um, the beginning of time, I think it's an art, yeah, Bandcamp template, export that, and then I need to make a new, um, I think it's 975 by 180. And camp header. I didn't make it yet, dang. I need to make a template for that. Nine seventy-five by one eighty. I think I got this right. <laughs> Hopefully. And um, if that's correct, it will fit this top section really, really cleanly. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna hit Command C and go to the header, and hopefully that fits exactly. Yeah, looks good. Cool. Okay. File. Oof. Um, export. Oh my God! Come on. Where are you? Um, export as Bandcamp header. And um, if all is correct, that will um, fit really cleanly into my album draft here. So let's just take a look and see what happens. If I edit the design of my page, background image, upload, Bandcamp template, oh. Shoot, I guess I exported it in too high of quality. I should, I think it needs to be a JPG. Oh, you know what I did? I actually don't need this section here. Um, this one right here needs to be stretched. Oops. Reset. And that whole thing needs to be flattened. No, it doesn't. Um, export as, let's see what happens here. Um, and if that fits. Uh, Bandcamp template. Okay, that reduced the file size a bit, but not enough. Um, I think this should just be JPG or something. Export as. As you can tell, I'm not a graphic designer. Um, and I really think it's overall probably better to hire one, but when you're starting out, um, you really don't have an option. Uh, center, probably. Um, repeat. No. Okay. And then replace the header. with Bandcamp header. Okay. And it's not lined up perfectly on the edges. Ugh, that looks bad actually. Oh, you know what, I think that's just a browser thing. I'll have to fix that. If, if it needs fixing, I'll change it. But um, basically, um, when this stuff exists up here, like the, this draft of the album, um, sometimes it messes up the, the edges. <sighs> this is making me also want to um, blend the bottom here into black. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Capacity now. Let's just see how this feels. Oh, shoot. I have to be careful on that top part. Uh, the reason I have to be careful on the top part is because. Um, I didn't do this to the header and I don't want to redo the header also. Okay. Let's see how this feels. Page design. Uh, hello? Delete. Upload. JPG. Oh my god, what's going on there? Oh, I see. Um, page design. 
background image. Why does it still say upload? Oh, I see. Page design. I didn't set this correctly, so this needs to be, I think, fill. Oh yeah, I think fill's the correct one. Okay, that's cool. Great, okay, tight. Um, and um, usually what I'll do is I'll set the colors to sort of match. Um, The links should probably, I think this should probably be like a slightly grayer color. The link color can be sort of a sickly pink that matches this eye. And cool. Looks cool. I'm happy with it. Awesome. Nice. Wonderful. Fantastic. <laughs> Anyway, um, hopefully that helps a little bit. I probably will come back and clean that up a tiny bit um, because I was essentially rushing through it right now so I could make sure I have the video up um, before anyone that watched that live stream forgets that it happened. <laughs> so um, anyway, uh, hopefully that helps and um, I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoy this uh, this EP and um, I'll, um, I'll try to remember to put some like, like a discount code or something if you follow my YouTube. Uh, and you want to buy a copy of it. So anyway, uh, thanks a ton. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye.